Hello and welcome to Sudokana. We are here to solve this quadruple Sudoku by Philip Blume, my good friend Glam Hippo. It was for the qualifying round of the German Sudoku Championship and it was by far the highest pointer in the set and in my opinion it was far from being the most difficult puzzle in the set. But then I may be biased by the fact that I love quadruples so very much and I've had a probably unfair amount of practice on this variant. And I hope I won't make a fool of myself by being subpar at solving it in, in this video. So let me just remind the rules. Every time you have digits in a circle, it means that the, the digits must appear somewhere in the over in the four cells that are overlapped by the circle. So basically this is a one, two, five, seven quadruple. And I would just pencil mark it, although I usually don't do that. I usually don't pencil mark four cells and you could even argue that those cells are already pencil marked by this circle. Well I, I I do that anyway. So here is something interesting. So we know because there's a 9 here that 9 won't appear here. So those are from 3, 4 and 6. Those are also from 3, 4 and 6. So there's a 5 somewhere here. So 5 or actually there's a 5 here. So 5 will have to be in those two cells. What else can we see here? We can see that there is a 2 here, there is a 2 there, so there is, we have located two instances of 2 in those two columns, so in the rest of the columns we can't have a third 2. So there is no 2 here, but there is a 2 there. Similarly, we have a 3 somewhere here, and actually, though this 3 and 4 tell us that we have a 3-4 pair here. And we get a 6 here. So we don't have a 6 here, the 6 is there. And we can deduce that there is a 6 somewhere here. And because of this very 6, we can locate it in one of those two cells. Now that's interesting. This 9 does not appear in here, so we can locate it in this area. And so what I was about to say is that there is a 3 somewhere here and a 3 somewhere there. So there again, we have located two instances of 3 in those two columns. So in the remaining cells of those two columns, we can't have a 3. Namely, here we can't have a 3. So we have a 3 somewhere here. What uh, else can I see? So what else am I seeing? There seems to be something going on with 8 perhaps. 8 is somewhere here, so it's not in here. And actually there's this 8 here. So we have an 8 in one of those two cells. Some things, something a bit weird is happening with 7. Because of this, we don't have a 7 here. Because of this, we don't have a 7 here. So 7 will have to be in one of those two cells. And it could very well be in both cells, actually. So now, where, where else do we look? Mm -hmm. So, what did I see to find this puzzle not so difficult when I solved it during the contest? So perhaps I should focus on the... on, on the... Uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm being inarticulate there. 
So let's focus on this cell. It can't have 235. It can't have 178 or 4. So this is a 6 or a 9. And this is kind of interesting because we know that there's a 9 here. Because there has to be a 9 in this quad and we know it's not here. So, oh yes, that's it. So this 9 here makes this a 6. Obviously. But what, what I was thinking is that this 9 here prevents all three cells here from having a 9, but we know there must be a 9 somewhere in here, so it has to be there. And then, so there's no 9 in here, so I'm using this 9, there's a 9 somewhere here, so it places a 9 here, and it pushes the 3 down to this cell. This is neat. So the 1, 2, 5, 7 quadruple founds its completion here, but there's a 1 here, so this is from 2, 5, 7. There's a 5 here, so this is from 1, 2, and 7. We know that we must have 2 and 5 somewhere here, so they must be in those cells. And then we don't have an 8 here because of this, so the 8 in the column must be here. Oh, because of this 6 now, those are from 3, 4, and 9. And an interesting part of this is that 6 is here. So combined with this 6, we know that there must be a 6 in here. So knowing that we have a 6, a 5 here, and a 9 there, and 3, 4, 8, and 7 here, I think this must be from 1 and 2. Let me double check that. We have excluded 3, 8, 9, 4, 5, 6. 9, 7. I think that's correct. And I'm saying that we need 4 and 8 in here. So that this is a 3, this is a 4. Oh, sorry about that. This 3 here says that there's no 3 here, but we must have 1 in the quadruple. So this is actually a 3, 8 pair. And the 6 is pushed into this cell. So that this is the missing digit from 1, 2, 5, 7. So this is from 1, 2, and 5. This 6 here removes this pencil mark and places the 6 there. And the missing digit in the column is a 7. So there's no 7 here. There's no 7 there. So the 7 of the quadruple is here. And it removes this pencil mark. So the 7 is this in this quadruple is here. And now, so in this box, the one is here. So there's no one here. There must be a one here. So the one of the quadruple is not here. So this digit is not in here. So it will, and it's not here. So it will have to appear in this cell. And the nine is pushed to the top. And now the digit that is both here and here must appear somewhere there. And it's not a 5 because there is a 5 somewhere here. So the digit here and there is the 2. So there is the 2, that's the 1, that's the 5. And there is a 2 in here. Uh, so it has to be a 5 somewhere here, right? Where do we look next? There must be a 2 on this row. There's a 2 in this column, so there's a 2 here. And the 7 here says that the 7 of this quad is here. So now the 7 down there must be in one of two positions.
where else is it logical to look? I mean, that must be a 2 and a 7 somewhere here. That's not saying so much. Oh, this 2 here removes this option, so there's a 2 there. Nothing so special about digit 9. Except that this 9 removes 9 from those cells, so the 9 of the quad must be here. And now, because of this and of that, there must be a 9 somewhere here. And that's interesting because we now know that 9 is not here, not there. It can't be here. So it will have to be somewhere here. And in this box, 9 is somewhere here. That's not huge uh, information. So 9 is here, so this is from 1, 5, and, nine, and 8. So I feel like I've used most of the quadruple information, except from perhaps with this area. Where else is a place of interest? So we know that 5 is not here. So on this row, 5 must be somewhere in here. But it can't be here, because there's a 5 here. So the 5 will have to be here. But this can't be a 5 anymore. So the 5 in this quad, following my pencil marks, must be here. And it pushes the 6 to the left and the 9 to the left. And that's not 5. So 5 somewhere here and a 5 somewhere down there. There's a 1 in here. So the 1 of this squared can only be here and it pushes the 2 to the right. The construction is very impressive. Uh, I've constructed quite a number of quadruple puzzles myself. And this is really unusual logic for me. So there must be the 2. The 2 of the quad must be somewhere here. So that's a 5, that's a 2. The 2 of this quad must be somewhere here. So we have 2, we have a kind of x-wing with the 2. So we know 2 must be here or there, here or there. So that's not the 2. And the pencil marks point to this position for 2. So here we have 1, 4, and 8. This can't be a 1. So there's a 1 somewhere here. So that's not 1. That's the 1. What about the 7 in here? I'm not sure I can deduce anything at this point. I really don't think I can. So let's ponder this column. It still needs three, five, three, four, five, eight. There's a five here, there's an eight there, there's a three here, so that's the four. Eight, four, so three, five, and eight. So eight is somewhere here, so this is three or five. It looks like all three options are valid here at this point. 5 is not an option here because of this. 3, there's already a 3 in this column, so this is from 4, 6, 8. In this column, I still need the 2, it's here. I still need the 7. Not sure what to do with that. Oh, and there must be a 6, and looking at this 6 and this 6, and this 6, the 6 goes here. So it disambiguates the 2s. And we know there must be a 7 here because of the quad. So that's not a 7 here. The 7 is pushed to this cell.
this six here removes this option and actually the six here removed the option as well so the seven in the column is here I still need a nine somewhere in there I still need a seven somewhere here I need a three and a four and that's interesting because this digit here is none of those three digits so it must be equal to this digit which means that this is the six in the quad it removes the six on top pushes the six to the left so this can't be three four or well, it's actually this four disambiguates that so none of them is a four that's the four and that's eight, and that's three, and that's five, and that's eight, and that's five, which is pushed to to the left and that to the right this time. That's a seven, that's the seven. Here we need one, six, and five. So this is six, this is one and five. Here I need four and nine, so that's nine and that's four. So that's the nine, and I think all the quads are fulfilled at this point. This last row needs a three and an eight. There's an eight in this column. Here I need one and eight. There's a one in this column. So all of this, all of this is now just straightforward eliminations by the rules of Sudoku. And it seems like I made no mistake. Wonderful. So it took quite some time. I won't lie. It was definitely not that easy. So in comparison to all other puzzles in the set, well, it may be the most difficult after all. Uh, I haven't done all the videos yet. I just remember that Entropy, which was only worth, I think, 60 points, caused me much more struggle than this puzzle did. But then Entropy is much less a variation on which I'm proficient, I would say. So that's the bias. Thanks for watching this video and thanks, my good heap of friends, for this very nice puzzle. And see you soon on Sudokanar.